So I don't know about you guys, but social media can be very overwhelming. Instagram specifically here as a photographer, I have to post my best work because people are gonna judge me. And recently I have found a way to not feel as much pressure. And to be quite honest with you, I have been enjoying the process of taking photos and posting them and sharing them, which hasn't happened for years. Now, if you can't tell by the thumbnail, I want to share with you guys how I've been doing this triple stacked photo on Instagram. It's been sort of a trend lately on Instagram. I'm not the only one I did not pioneer this but I have not only been enjoying the aesthetic and I think it looks cool but also I have been able to put a little bit of that anxiety post anxiety post comma anxiety I don't know anxiety about posting a photo away and I can share multiple photos at once without them having to be the picture perfect front of the magazine photo. All right, so let's get to the whole point of the video, showing you guys how to do this triple stacked effect. So you're gonna to wanna to open up Photoshop, open up a new document at 1080 by 1350. Once you have that new document open, you're gonna to want to go to View, Guides, New Guide Layout. Then you're gonna to wanna to go set the rows to three. So what's this gonna do? It's gonna add three, actually no, technically two lines in the middle of your photo and it's gonna appropriately space it so you can fit three images perfectly within that four by five cropped ratio that Instagram tends to keep us to. So after this, you're gonna to wanna to just put in your three favorite photos from whatever shoot you did or maybe it's just whatever you got going on uh, and you're gonna to wanna to import them and then close them into each of those rectangles. I suggest putting whatever is is the focal subject in the center, but that's the old business, do whatever you want. Now, I hope you guys like this video. If you have any other questions or other uh, tutorials that you'd like me to do, even if they're this quick, I kinda like these quicker videos on YouTube. I hate the 15 minute long videos that just teach you one thing that could have been explained so quickly. And until the next video, see you guys later.